Hi, it's David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. Today we're discussing stem cell therapy for erectile dysfunction. All right, so ED is when one is unable to either get or maintain an erection. Men of any age experience erectile problems. In fact, around the age of 40, about 40% 40 of men say they have some form of sexual dysfunction. Overall in the U.S., it's about 30 million men affected. If you look at this chart, you can see how common um, it gets with increasing age. Overall, it's about 33%. And then as you get into the um, seventh decade of life, it goes up to close to 70%. And then it goes up to over 80% in the eighth decade. So what are the causes? Well, <clears throat> proper erectile function involves a complex relationship between neurologic, vascular, hormonal, and psychological components. So the actual issue can be one or a combination, such as high blood pressure, diabetes or obesity, kidney disease, prostate cancer, low T, thyroid, there could be an injury, um, Psychological could be uh, any one of those, stress, depression, anxiety. So in evaluating um, ED, first of all, blood and urine tests can help show um, hormonal issues. Uh, an overnight erection test, uh, men experience uh, several spontaneous erections, usually during sleep. So tests can show if that's normal or not. Um, if it's not, then it's probably a, a psychological component. There can be an injection test. Um, and if the erection occurs, most likely it's a blood flow problem because those um, help uh, dilate the, the vessels with the injection. And then there could be an ultrasound to look at whether blood flow is occurring properly or not. Traditional treatments such as lifestyle changes, um, losing weight, drinking less alcohol, quitting smoking, um, other uh, psychological counseling can, can help. Medications like Cialis or Viagra by mouth or various injections um, when it gets to later stages. Uh, vacuum pumps or shockwave therapy can be helpful. It often doesn't work right away, um, but it can help to boost blood flow to the penis in over 80% of individuals. And then as a last resort, surgery, a penile implant or a vascular reconstruction surgery. So when you look at stem cell therapy for ED, a few things to note, first of all. These treatments are extremely safe. We've never had a significant adverse event. Any of the literature studies you look at uh, show they've been very, very safe. We use umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. This is donated tissue that is normally uh, medical waste after a scheduled C-section. There's no harm to baby or mother. So there, not only are there no ethical issues, but the tissue gets uh, donated and processed in a very regulated fashion with uh, screening of the mother and the tissue itself. Uh, there's no need for immunosuppression. The tissue does not get rejected by the, by the recipient. And it has, um, from what we've seen, no uh, tumor capability. All right, so the benefits of stem cells, a lot of people think that the stem cells that they receive with a the therapy are the exact ones that have become their own uh, differentiated cells. And predominantly, we know that's not the case, but they are very, very effective in helping promote new blood flow, which is very helpful for a person who has ED. They can help repair and regenerate other damaged tissues. They can uh, stimulate one's own body repair mechanisms to kick in. They're very helpful in inhibiting scar formation, which can help a lot with something like Peyronie's disease. And there really is an entire orchestra of regenerative components. Stem cells, cytokines, growth factors, exosomes. So let's look at a few studies. This was a literature review a few years back, current perspectives on stem cell therapy for ED. And the research that they looked at demonstrated that stem cells mostly exert a paracrine effect. And that is the cell-to-cell -cell communication that we just talked about in the previous slide. Helping cells differentiate into those that are needed, such as smooth muscle, endothelium for blood vessels, and neurons, nerve cells. Stem cells have proven safe and effective in both you know, preclinical, which is animal, and clinical human models of ED. Here's another study out of the same journal, actually, 2020. Another literature review where they distilled it down to just five studies, and these were very um, good 
clinical human studies, and they all showed promise with excellent results for stem cell therapy as a restorative therapy. They had no adverse events, and the effectiveness was top-notch. This was a presentation at the European, Associ European Association of Urology, um, where they looked at 21 patients who had ED after a radical prostatectomy. Now, what's the difference between having a, a normal ED problem from, say, diabetes um, versus a radical prostatectomy? Well, diabetes causes a vascular problem, so it's a blood flow issue. A prostatectomy not only cuts blood vessels, it also cuts nerves. So you're also talking about a nerve problem. And in this study, they showed that it can work very well for those who had the prostatectomy and the nerve issues. Um, in most of the patients, um, I would say about 70% was my math. Uh, the single injection worked amazingly well for the one-year follow-up. Um, and those who were continent, if they were incontinent, it did not work well. So it's necessary to ascertain whether the person is continent or incontinent. And this is exactly what we've seen in our experience. All right, this was a study in diabetic men with ED. And this was a small study, four patients, but all of them did really well with two consecutive stem cell injections a month apart. Um, and they evaluated them for two years of follow-up. All the patients did great. So this was more of a pilot study with only four patients. I do want to point out that <clears throat> when people talk about stem cell therapy, um, a lot of people get confused. We don't use embryonic stem cells, which are the ones that come from aborted fetuses, or induced pluripotent stem cells. Neither of those are ready for prime time use. Um, disregarding the ethical potential issues to think about, when you look at their use, they can lead to tumors, they lead to rejection. So we don't offer those. I don't recommend them at all. Um, we use stem cell therapy with mesenchymal stem cells and hematopoietic stem cells. Those don't form tumors, they don't get rejected, um, and they do great. So in conclusion, stem cell therapy for ED has been shown to work really well in virtually every well-performed study without significant adverse events. Although most studies have been relatively small, there's a lot of them. When you combine it with the, performance, the um, uh, outcomes that we've seen in our eight years, um, it's overall 90% of ED patients respond really well if the issue is vascular related. If it's not vascular related, if it's mostly nerve related, we still can see very beneficial outcomes, but it's more like 70% as opposed to 90%. Now, at our treatment programs for ED in Mexico, we have three locations, Tijuana, Cancun, and Mexicali. We have combined all the essentials for a first-rate program. First is expert doctors, who have done many, many of these procedures. We have dedicated patient concierge representatives that take a lot of the travel hassle out of it. Very safe biologics with very high cell counts. The locations are very convenient. It's only 20 minutes from the San Diego airport. Uh, we'll pick you up, take you across the border, right to the clinic. I've, I've done it many times. It's only literally 20 minutes from door to door. And then uh, in, in Cancun, same thing, 20 minutes. And we really did put together the most cost-effective program in the world. It was very important to me to make sure that there were no huge financial barriers to people getting the treatment that they want. So right now, you get 30 million viable, functional, active stem cells for only $29.75. That cost of treatment in the U.S. would be well over $8,000, It's Stem cell counts matter, and we've shown this for, for years now. The literature has shown this. Um, so to get 2 or 3 million cells can work, but 30 million is amazing. We offer 50 million for only $1,000 more. So if you wanted to come and get an anti-aging um, IV therapy plus the ED therapy for only 4, 000, less than $4,000, we'll also include 50 billion exosomes at no additional charge. How, how amazing is that? <laughs> so if you look at our biologics, um, we can culture biologics in Mexico. We made sure to work with the best lab in the country, which is GenCell. They're accredited. They have a pristine safety record. Their quality assurance is more involved than the FDA. And I've done videos on that, but it's true. They look at not only everything the FDA would require in the U.S., 
but more, such as looking for mutations and things like that. The cell, cell biologics culturing is kept to the, under the fifth generation, which is very important. No uh, uh, preservatives are used, 95% plus viability, um, and I already talked about the, the travel. So to get the process started is super easy. It all starts with a free phone consultation with our medical director. Um, just call us at the USA prefix, plus one, 888-988-0515. And visit us online at stemcelltreatmentclinic.com. You can see a lot more educational information, uh, more about the process, and you can email us directly at info at r3stemcell.com. Thanks so much for watching. We really look forward to hearing from you.